Of every medium for brand and IP collaborations, food products being used as a vehicle to promote another brand just sounds weird. From the trends of searching for the perfect SpongeBob popsicle to your favorite cartoon characters appearing on boxes of Kraft mac and cheese, from the layers, no pun intended, of Shrek penetrating countless food brands to the now routine reappearance of Pokemon cards at McDonald's, the history of popular children's media doing promotions in tandem with food icons is richer than Jeff Bezos. And that's exactly what we'll be diving into today because Konami and Yu-Gi-Oh are no stranger to the the concept of food brand collaboration promos. Of course, it extends far beyond that. Of all things, Adidas had their very own collab with Yu-Gi-Oh! sporting a unique pair of Blue Eyes themed Addy 2000 shoes and an exclusive promo Dark Magician card. But let's start with one that's near and dear to my heart. Not the king of games, but a king of burgers. <laughs> Now in your kid's meal, toys from Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie. You and Yu-Gi can unlock the secret of the puzzle and find a surprise duel monster inside. Let the battles begin. There are 20 duel monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie. One in every kid's meal. Only in mid-2004, duelists were flooding theaters to catch the premiere of the first U.S. Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, The Pyramid of Light. And aside from the four premiere promotional cards that players could pick up seeing the movie in theater, as well as the exclusive pack containing nine additional cards that debuted in the movie, Yu-Gi-Oh! teamed up with Burger King to release a series of 20 kids meal toys to promote the new film. The series included iconic monsters like Exodia, Gate Guardian, and everyone's favorite hairy ball, Karibo. The 20 toys sported a tried and true pull back and roll feature that allowed you to pitch your monsters against each other. Each toy came inside a Millennium Puzzle Puzzle. Surprisingly, no trading cards came with these toys, but a seven-year-old me absolutely was not complaining. But on the subject of fast food, two series that I wasn't all that familiar with until becoming an adult were the McDonald's collaboration promos. Two years prior to the Pyramid of Light movie in late 2002, McDonald's dropped a McBanger of Happy Meal toys featuring a set of 15 TCG Premier cards, excluding Stuffed Animal, which was originally printed in Tournament Pack 2. And most of these cards would remain exclusive to the McDonald's promotional set until the release of the legendary collection Yugi's World box set. Each Happy Meal came with a unique booster pack including two cards and one of three different CDs, each featuring music previews from the official Yu-Gi-Oh! soundtrack, Music to Duel By. The chase cards being the ultra-rare Millennium Shield and Cosmo Queen. No toys, no bulk, just grade A certified shiny cardboard. And while I may now have unbridled access to these cards as an adult, I still won't ever be able to live the hype of getting a Happy Meal with Yu-Gi-Oh! cards in it. Shortly after the Burger King promo in late 2006, McDonald's came back for round two, and Ronald McDonald was ready to get his game on. With dueling, your brain is the strongest muscle. <laughs> get three exclusive Yu-Gi-Oh! GX trading cards in a toy and my McDonald's Mighty Kids meal. They forgot the aux cord this time around, so the homies might be disappointed, but we received a new 20 card promotional set, all centered around Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Each Happy Meal came with a pack of three cards from the set, one rare and two commons. In the words of the prolific Hannah Montana, everybody makes mistakes. And that sentiment holds true in regards to this promotional set. During the early releases of the Elemental Energy set, the commons from this second wave of McDonald's promos found their way into batches of the main set due to production errors. However, the goofs and blunders didn't stop there. Around this time, what would become a legal battle between Konami and Upper Deck Entertainment surrounding the production and sale of counterfeit cards roped in a small portion of the McDonald's promo Wave 2 cards. Elemental Hero Electrum, Elemental Hero Mudball Man, the Flute of Summoning Karibo, Mist Body, and the White Horned Dragon were among these counterfeit produced by Upper Deck. Konami created a series of replacement cards, unofficially dubbed the K-Series, to, you guessed it, replace the counterfeit cards found by consumers. And these cards are still plentiful in the market if you, for some reason, want to pay upwards of 
32 times the regular price. Yeah, I'll take my chances with the Wish.com cards, thank you. And that would be the last time that the heart of the McCards would grace the Golden Arches. Or was it? Well, for nearly 20 years it would be, until McDonald's debuted a new Yu-Gi-Oh! collaboration. Although there's no cards this time around, we've got something even better. I've never seen the door collab between Yu-Gi-Oh! and Hello Kitty is happening in McDonald's Happy Meal. to the party as you go meets hello kitty and friends some fun some food it's all inside this happy meal hello kitty maybe i'm in the minority but that wasn't on my bingo card the currently belgium exclusive promotion features happy meal plush toys of six hello kitty characters cosplaying as popular Yu-Gi-Oh monsters including dark magician slife of the sky dragon exodia dark magician girl Blue Eyes White Dragon and the Red Eyes Black Dragon. And while I was fully expecting for this collaboration to remain an exclusive to our friends across the pond, it appears that the promotion was such a success that this summer 2024, we might see this promotion drop in US Mickey D's. Nice. It's no secret that the US, despite being Yu-Gi-Oh's second biggest market for the trading card game, tends to get the short end of the stick with brand collaborations for the game. Needless to say, we miss out on a lot of OCG exclusives in the worst way. And one promotion that slipped through our greasy little fingers was potato chips of all things. In late 2018, the Japan potato chip brand Kalbi released unique Yu-Gi-Oh! branded bags of lightly salted potato chips. And contained inside each specially marked package of salty snacks was a pack of one Yu-Gi-Oh! card. While the 20-card set was mostly comprised of iconic cards from each protagonist of the series, the set premiered three new potato chip theme cards. Potato and Chips, a level 2 earth plant normal monster with 200 attack and defense. Soul Unseal, a normal spell card with the following effect. If your opponent controls a monster and you control a normal monster, choose five normal monsters in your deck, add one of them to your hand, and banish the rest. Exodia players, eat your hearts out. And finally, Farm Delivery, a normal trap card with a following effect. If you control a normal monster, target up to three of your banished normal monsters, shuffle them into the deck. And each of these cards in the 20 card set came in either common or the new Millennium Rare. So, not only do I hate that these are exclusive to Japan, but I also hate that they're not terrible either. I'd love to play a potato chip deck, but us warm-blooded Americans will have to settle for wild turkey. And because I like to do things ass backwards, we're ending the day with a bowl of cereal. Smack dab in the middle of the first McDonald's promotion and the Burger King promotion, General Mills rolled out an entire line of special Yu-Gi-Oh branded packages for their existing products, including Gogurt and Gushers. But for a short stint in 2003, the food manufacturer put into production Yu-Gi-Oh cereal, which as its name would imply, was Yu-Gi-Oh cereal. The cereal itself was shaped like the famous Millennium Puzzle and the box described them as Millennium Medallion shaped honey sweetened corn cereal. Sounds delicious. But that wasn't the sole endeavor for Duelist to venture into the world of a well-balanced breakfast. In celebration of the Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th anniversary, the FYE Collectibles brand released a new Yu-Gi-Oh! branded cereal, fittingly named Millenni Yum, with a golden berry blast flavor. And this wasn't FYE's only foray into Duel Monsters turf. In 2022, the brand would release an exclusive instant ramen pack, mascotted by none other than the Winged Dragon of Raw. That's all fine, but I'm genuinely upset that neither of these brands with their million dollar marketing teams came up with Yu-Gi-Oh! branded cereal called Yu-Gi-Oh!'s. Come on, Steve, it wasn't rocket science, but I expect royalties for whoever steals this idea. But that will wrap up today's discussion, guys, and we've really only breached the surface of these weird Yu-Gi-Oh! food collaborations. Would you like to see a part two? Drop a comment down below, let me know your thoughts. And if you like the video, don't forget to drop a big thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated, as always, guys. And until next time, this has been Purple Pineapple TV, signing off.